We're back with another episode of This is Abilene. And today we're going to talk about things that you need to know before moving to Abilene. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Tanya. And we're with Tanya Harvin Team Brokered by Real. So let's get into it. So number 15 is everyone in Abilene, or really the whole state of Texas, says y'all or fixin'. So if somebody says that they are fixin' to go to the store, they don't mean they're fixin' something. They mean that they are headed to the store sometime shortly. (laughs) (laughs) So that's one of the biggest comments that we get, isn't it? That Mm -hmm. people always And y'all. Y'all. Always saying y'all. It's just shorter and faster. (laughs) Yes, it is. And it's typed out a lot. Yes, it is. Moving on to number 14, it's that we have lots of clubs to join. So if you're someone who loves to be involved in something, Abilene has many choices for you. So I've recently seen a walking club for moms that looks fun, as well as I'm joining a reading club. So there's lots of stuff for anybody to get involved in in Abilene. Didn't you say that one of our team members has like a progressive dinner club Yes, too? so they had a neighborhood night where it was a progressive dinner. So they had different appetizers at everyone's houses. And I'm like, I should start that in my neighborhood. It sounds super fun. Yeah. So, I, need, I need to be in that too. I don't like to cook, I know. but you know, I would love to be involved in that and yeah. not really have to cook. <laughs> Maybe I could just get something whenever I um, am fixing to go to the store. Yep. There you go. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Number 13, something that we talk about a lot are beautiful sunsets. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like every night in our backyard, I walk out and talk about how beautiful the sunset is. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing is prettier than a West Texas sunset. There's even songs about it. I, I mean, I mean, really, it's pretty famous. So come check I think out it's a sunset. Posted on social media almost every day, somebody is posting about their sunset. Yep, for <laughs> sure. Uh, number twelve is that we have three universities in Abilene. So um, we have ACU, Hardin Simmons, and McMurray. So if you're looking to move here and have your kids go to college here, or if you're a college day student looking for universities, we have plenty of options to choose from, as well as Cisco Junior College. And then Texas Tech has their pharmacy and nursing school. Mm -hmm. And we actually have nursing school through ACU, um, Hardin Simmons. And I'm not sure if McMurray has nursing or not, but we have lots of different nursing programs. So we have a lot of people that go through those. And then Cisco Junior College, like you said too, a lot of people go to for their basics. Mm -hmm. Um, And we also have... um, um, technical schools. Yeah. So lots, lots of options. and lots of <laughs> options for you. Number 11, Abilene is in what everyone calls the Bible Belt. So there is a church almost on every corner in Abilene. Um, in fact, one of the cities right outside of Aunt Abilene, Anson, used to always be known for no dancing and dancing, just like Footloose. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, you might not be dancing, though. Yeah. I mean, you never know. Not get in trouble. <laughs> Number 10 is that Abilene has tons of mesquite trees. So we always joke that for your Christmas tree, just go grab a mesquite tree. They're everywhere. Um, we have some oak trees and things like that, but you're going to see a mesquite trees pretty much everywhere. And after you see them a lot, you're finally like, oh, that mesquite tree actually is pretty. I mean, we even have one in our backyard that's (laughs) actually growing flowers right now. So you might get a special mesquite tree. (laughs) (laughs) You just never know. I always tell people that we're home with a mesquite tree. Yep. Number nine, small business is huge. So um, we have small businesses everywhere, lots of different boutiques. Downtown has grown so much. So I remember the days that I was so jealous of all the towns that had a downtown that you could go walk in. And now we have um, restaurants. Caitlin and I love to go to Vagabond Pizza or um, the Beehive is really good for steaks and burgers. So, mm-hmm. Lots oh, of Hickory bars. Street oh, yeah. is down Hickory there. Street's we super love good. Hickory Street. 
But and then there's just lots of shops, so you can go shopping. Um, there's places like Grain Theory that's um, up, and so you can sit outside and see downtown. So just lots of neat things. Oh, and the hotel that's going to mm-hmm. be opening next year in 2023. Um, it is a across the street from the convention center, and, and it also gonna- has a convention center inside of it too. So there's going to be lots of events and stuff going on. I keep saying that we need to have a staycation downtown, go to a restaurant, bar, <laughs> stay at the hotel, no Ubering. We can just walk back because Ubers are so fine, hard to find in Abilene. So yeah, well, you know, and there's also, oh, check out our video of downtown, mm-hmm. but uh, we also have a video of the soda district. So the soda yeah. district is another neat place. It is not downtown. I guess you might say it's right across the highway, <laughs> across the railroad tracks. Yeah. And um, there's bars and mm-hmm. you can walk around there too. Axe and there's throwing. even some Airbnbs right there. So, yeah. I mean, we have so many fun things, but there's boutiques and stuff all over town, just lots of small businesses everywhere. And so Abilene is really known for um, being small business friendly. And we love to support all those businesses, rather the retail and the restaurants. Number eight is that Abilene has a large art community. While neither of us are very artistic at all, we do like to go look at it. So we have the Grace Museum, the Nickel, um, going into the Storybook Capital, which we'll talk about. But um, there's just lots of art to go around, lots of murals. We're actually working on getting a mural painted at our office. So, yeah. Well, and even like for the Storybook, there's all the um, statues yes. outside of South First. So there's just lots of different things to go and look at. And the Grace Museum with all the art even has a children's mm-hmm. museum that you can go to. I mean, yeah. when you were little, yep, I used to, go. to take you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a lot of fun to go and um, check that out. Lots of just different things to do. And again, those are downtown too. Yeah. Number seven. Abilene is the storybook capital of America. So What an honor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. For- it's so random, but it's actually a really neat thing. So there's different statues going around. There's like Dr. Seuss, Horton Hears a Who, all of that stuff that you can go look around, take pictures of. It's actually really neat. People travel to come to see it. Yeah. I mean, every time we're down there, I always have my picture taken with Dr. Seuss. I know. It's always <laughs> so weird taking it of you. But <laughs> yeah, but, but that's a, a really cool thing to, to look at. It's really neat. And the nickel yes. is down there too. Uh-huh. So. And we forgot to mention with the art thing, there's an art walk the first Thursday of every month. Different car stuff, different art. It's downtown. You can go to the restaurants after. It's a really neat thing. Yeah. Lots of fun things, and I'm still taking offense to her saying that I'm not artsy. I mean, I mean, we know you're not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to draw a circle. <laughs> Number six is the weather, which there's really not much to say about this because it's never predictable. We never know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, it's hot in the summers, it snows in the winters. We've had a snow apocalypse where yes. um, everything froze for a few days, so it's pretty much always windy. And sometimes when it does snow, then it snows, and then the next day it's melted and it's gone. But when it does snow, the entire city shuts down. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we don't have trucks and stuff really Mm -hmm. to, you know, do a lot um, whenever we have really bad weather. no school for all the kids, which I always loved growing up when it would get canceled. Yes, you did. (laughs) And then in the summer, again, I mean, August is usually over 100 degrees, um, sometimes every single day. Um, you just stay inside or you go swimming. So there's lots of pools around here. Um, in Texas, a lot of people have pools or, you know, there's a community pool. Just, you know, there's different things all over. I am so glad, you know, so many people think, oh, we're going to move to Texas and, you know, people ride their horses to work. Well, <laughs> we don't do that. And probably the number one reason is, well... I don't ride horses. Yeah, I think there's a Um, lot of reasons. (laughs) (laughs) But it is so hot. You would be really sweaty by the time you got there. Mm -hmm. And one thing, though, um, with our weather is it's not humid either. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, you're going to go outside and your hair is going to be in ringlets. So it's a little bit more of a dry heat. Yeah. So, but no, don't ride our horses. Mm -hmm. Ride an air conditioning in your car. Mm -hmm. So... (laughs) Number five, who likes to be outdoorsy? So in Abilene, we have the state park, 
which has, if you want to sleep in tents, you can take mm-hmm. your tents out there. As well Caitlin, as yurts. We well, did that let's in just college. say first, you did that when you were little. Y'all oh, would yes. sleep in tents. I yep. would go home. But Wash you your hair with the water hose. I mean, <laughs> that was pretty outdoorsy. But then when you were in but college. But then in college, we were bored. They have yurts out there. Pretty fun to stay in. They have heaters in them. It's something different to do. Yeah, and you can walk around the state park. You can go mm-hmm. swimming. Y'all swam at the state yeah. park it's a many, big pool. many times. Yes, when you were young. So, mm-hmm. um, we have Fort Phantom Lake yep. that's actually in Abilene. Outside of Abilene, we have um, Coleman Lake, Brownwood Lake, and then just a little bit farther, Possum Kingdom Lake. There's several lakes within driving distance that you could go. You know, just for the day if you wanted to get out of town. Um, We also have the Cedar Creek Walkway, so you can go walk around, um, just be outdoorsy. A lot of people ride bikes out in Tuscola and what I call our mountains. They're really probably small (laughs) hills, but, you know, we call them the Abilene Mountains. Um, Lots of people out riding bikes, so... Uh, we have lots of different outdoorsy things yeah, to do. Yeah, tons to do. There's paddle boarding, just a lot of different stuff to be outside. Yeah. Number four, the Abilene Zoo, which we actually went to last night. They had a Christmas event going on, but lots of animals to see at the zoo. Um, snakes, lion. <laughs> you can feed the giraffes. That's one of the most oh. popular um, things at the zoo are, is giraffe feeding. We actually always do a Klein event in October and... Um, you know, that's what everyone, they love to go feed the giraffes and also like right by the zoo. So you take your kids to the zoo and then there is a splash pad, you Mm -hmm. know, right whenever you're leaving. And And a playground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can take your kids if they're hot, they can get Mm -hmm. cooled off. Let's not forget about the dog park too. If you are a dog mom like me, I mean, (laughs) the dog park is right by the zoo. Although I would not recommend taking your dog to the zoo, maybe do those separately, but all of it's (laughs) right there in that area. So, but the zoo does have lots of different things. So throughout the year, you want to make sure that you're checking out what their events Mm -hmm. are. Um, Halloween, they have a couple different things. And then, like we said, you know, for Christmas, um, they have the entire zoo just lit up. Um, They had chili last night. Mm -hmm. They have, um, like, you can get hot cocoa. Oh, they had ice skating. Mm -hmm. So there's just lots of different, you know, neat things that they've really done at the Abilene Zoo. Number three thing to know about Abilene is... We don't have a lot of traffic. I mean, well, every once in a while, if there's mm-hmm. construction, you have to wait at the light like two times. And the it five is five o'clock, five super minute annoying. traffic. I mean, that's about <laughs> as long as it gets. Except when there's construction. I mean, that does take a little bit, but it is so nice. You know, from my house to my office, it's probably about seven or eight minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, if you live out in Tuscola and you work in Abilene, I mean, maybe 10 minutes, you know, just depending on how far out you are. How fast you drive. Yes. It's funny because, you know, when I first got married, we lived in Dallas and then we moved back to Abilene. And I would, after a while, I would say, oh, I don't want to go all the way over there. I mean, it's across town. Well, you know, here across town, it's like five to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But you get really excited about the no traffic. So you can get anywhere, even taking your kids to school and whenever you're driving home from work. I mean, it just doesn't take a long time. I will say too, one of my first clients that I had when I started real estate, he wanted to know how long it would take from him to get from his house to the base. And I said, maybe like 10 minutes. Well, he still wanted to get up at 5.30 to, um, you know, take that drive before he committed to a house. And I said, I've never been up at 5.30, like driving somewhere. So maybe there's secret traffic. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> so even to get to the hospitals or yeah. anywhere, it's everything is really fast, which is a really nice thing about Abilene. Mm-hmm. Number two, going off of her military client, we have a large military base here called Dias. We actually have two planes. It's constantly growing, and it's really neat to have a large military community in Abilene. Yeah, we have two really large squadrons here, Mm -hmm. and um, it's always a lot of fun getting to know a lot of people that, you know, come to Dias, and then they may move back to somewhere else, and then it Mm -hmm. seems like they're always back. So (laughs) everyone (laughs) always welcomes and then comes back. back. They're always like all roads lead back to Abilene. They do. So, you know, a neat thing too is so many people that I know that, um, you know, were here for Dias, 
they end up, when they first get here, they're like, I'm not sure that we're going to stay here. And then they can't wait to retire here. So a lot of times, you know, people just really love living in Abilene and end up staying forever. Yep. The number one thing that you should know about Abilene is location. So Mm -hmm. this is one of the things that I love. You know, Abilene is just that small town feel, you know, no traffic. Like I said, lots of small businesses. But if you want to get to the bigger city, I mean, we are centrally located. So a lot of times, you know, if we're just wanting to go somewhere, you can be in Fort Worth in two hours, Dallas in three hours, Austin in three hours. Fredericksburg is what three three hours yeah, away. Yeah. Fredericksburg's like a really cute town with shopping and wineries, wineries and just all kinds of things. Um, San Angelo's ninety miles. Yeah. I mean, just we have a lot of things. You know, not too far. If you want to go to a Texas Tech game in Lubbock, I mean, Lubbock's about two and a half hours. So we are just very centrally located. And if you are not wanting to drive, we do have an airport. Um, We get a lot of questions about this. It's a one-stop shop. (laughs) (laughs) It is. Um, Our airport flies from Abilene to Dallas. So, but I will say, you know, I love that because a lot of times whenever you are booking your flights, a lot of times it's the same price if you fly out of Mm -hmm. Dallas or if you fly out of Abilene. So, a lot of times I just fly out of Abilene. Mm -hmm. So, but we are very centrally located whether you want to drive or fly anywhere. And that is 15 things you need to know about moving to Abilene. Thank you guys so much for watching. We would love if you like and subscribe. And if you are interested in moving to Abilene, we have a relocation link. So just click that in our bio. I think that's it for this week. Yeah, we'll see you next time.